ready to roll. He, he had a good off season. Uh, he had a good break from what we're being told. Hey! Right here! Hey everyone, welcome back. It is so good to finally have football to talk about again. And I know it's been a long summer for everybody, but finally Carolina Panthers training camp is here. We've been in Spartanburg for the last five days. We have plenty of content for you guys to check out. Go to charlotteobserver.com to read all of our Panthers coverage from the first few days of training camp. We can't really get into talking about the Panthers without talking about one guy, specifically number one, Cam Newton, Carolina Panthers quarterback. He's in the process of rehabbing from an arthroscopic shoulder procedure that he had in January. Now, that shoulder procedure was described as being more of a clean-out procedure than to repair any particular injury. And as Cam would have told you himself back in February, and he did in his video blog, he didn't exactly know what was going on. I didn't know what the fuck was wrong with my shoulder. Like, I just knew it, it hurt, and I knew that it was, uh, it was an issue. But from the point that Cam had this arthroscopic procedure performed in January by, by team physician Pat Connor, we've sort of been waiting, and we didn't know when we were gonna see Cam throw. We didn't know what the milestones or the checkpoints were. It was really just a wait and see game. And the only thing the team told us throughout this time, at least consistently, was that Cam will be good to go come training camp. Now, of course then, it was a huge surprise for all of us when come spring mini camp, into our inboxes, comes this delightful email. He's back! He's back! Now, obviously, with this sort of graphic, you know you're gonna be seeing the most scintillating, you know, mind-bending footage of Cam Newton that you could possibly see. A full go, a full workout, especially when you decide to live stream the entire thing, and you go ahead and you put exactly what time he's gonna start throwing at 8.40 in the morning down to the minute. Are you kidding me? With all that sort of hoopla and buzz surrounding it, you would expect this is gonna be scintillating footage of Cam, right? Him going at full blast and full speed and everything that you've come to know about that former MVP. So... That's it? That's it? That's all we get? I mean, yeah, that's all we're gonna get. And understandably, the team is trying to work Cam back from that procedure and be cautious about it. But at the same time, it seems like a lot to blow up about for not a lot of actual video. So to try and get a better understanding of what exactly was going on with Cam's shoulder, not necessarily just in January, but dating all the way back to 2017 when he initially had surgery to repair a partially torn right rotator cuff, we called the doctor. Now, let me be very clear. Dr. James Romanowski from Novant Health Sports Medicine Center is not the Carolina Panthers team doctor. He is not Cam Newton's doctor. He's not my doctor, but Dr. Romanowski is a licensed expert in orthopedic surgery. He has worked professionally with the Charlotte Hornets and the Charlotte Independents before, so the man knows what he's talking about as far as professional athletes rehabbing and coming back from some of these serious injuries. And what he had to say about the potential for athletes to return to their pre-injury peak is actually pretty interesting. But when you're going through and you're, you're assessing the treatment options mm -hmm. for a partial for sure. tear or a complete tear, yeah. what is sort of the timetable as far as getting you know someone back to quote unquote full health? And can mm -hmm. you get back there at all? I mean, right. if you have an injury like this, are you ever able to get back to the complete same velocity and strength that you had? Right. I, I think it, it, you know everyone's different, and so it's it becomes subjective. So what are you trying to get back to? That a rotator cuff injury in an elite athlete. Uh, it, it can be difficult to get them back to that pre-injury level. To the true elite right. velocity and mobility. Right, so we can usually get them back to playing, but the question is, is can we get you back to that where you were 10 pre years ago? Right, gotcha. exactly. Gotcha. And I, I think if, if you're critical of the studies, it'll say, say if you have a, a partial rotator cuff tear or a, rotator, a full rotator cuff tear is even worse, but partials are a better situation for people because there are still attachments, but about 75 to 80% of players with those partial tears will get back to playing. Gotcha. Now, about 50% will get back to where they were pre-injury. What I take that to mean is we don't know. There's no way for Dr. Romanowski or any of the Panthers team physicians or even Cam Newton himself to know exactly how Cam's shoulder is gonna hold up in, say, a November game this season in Green Bay. There's just no way of telling unless you've got a crystal ball and a fortune teller on hand. But with that in mind, 
What becomes especially interesting is what's going on at training camp right now. Now, on move-in day on Wednesday at Wofford College, Panthers coach Ron Rivera said that Cam was, quote, ready uh, to again, roll. Again, we believe he's ready to roll. He had a good Although the team would keep him on a pitch count, he was ready to go out there and practice. And on Thursday night, quarterback number one delivered for all the fans in attendance. Cam's dropping bombs. I mean, those balls are traveling at least 35, 40 yards in the air, which is so drastically different than anything that we saw, especially at the end of 2018. It's, it's worth asking why and how is this possible? Now, there was a lot of talk back in the spring about Cam's throwing motion and, and the idea that the team was trying to change that. Not necessarily true. What they are trying to do is make sure that Cam's throwing motion is more compact. And what that means is instead of just relying on his arm strength, and obviously he has that in, in surpluses and has since his rookie season, what they're trying to do is get him to throw in one continuous motion. So if you look at these video clips, just from the naked eye, it's pretty hard to see the difference. It's not like the team is radically overhauling the way that Cam Newton throws a football. The guy won an MVP for goodness sake, right? So you don't need to change that. You're just trying to alleviate some of the stress and the tension on that shoulder. And that's what Scott Turner and North Turner are trying to do right now. Now, Cam's obviously the top story that we've got throughout training camp, but he is by far not the only person having a remarkable summer. And there are two other main contenders that I've been watching who I think have stood out as being remarkable Panthers through the first week of training camp. One guy I've been really watching and really impressed with is tackle Darrell Williams. Now, last year he suffers a terrible, devastating, season-ending knee injury, and he's been working his way back from that ever since. So the fact that through the first week of training camp, he's been getting the majority of first team reps at left tackle is really encouraging. And especially just as a human being, for someone who's gone through so much, it's really encouraging to see Daryl back in doing something that he loves and succeeding at it straight off the gun. And on the other side of the ball, one guy who's been really impressive, not just on the field, but also off of it, is new defensive lineman Gerald McCoy. Now, Gerald McCoy comes to Carolina after a number of years in Tampa Bay. And the question when he signed was, how much does he have left in the tank? Well, if him eating offensive linemen for breakfast this past week is any indication, he's got plenty left in the tank. Panthers fans, if you've been down at training camp at all, even for a single day, you've seen Gerald literally stepping over the fence to get into the penned off area with fans, and the man will sign autograph for 10, 15 minutes, just nonstop going through. I think a lot of us would like to say that we'll do that. Not a lot of us actually will. And so Gerald's especially impressed me in that regard. And for that reason, I'm giving Gerald my first ever Remarkey Award for Remarkable Panther training camp. I'm really impressed with Gerald so far. And Panthers fans, you're gonna love this guy. With this first segment of Panthers training camp finally over with, I wanna leave you guys with some final remarks. And of course, I'm gonna come back to Cam Newton because he is the player driving the Panthers to whatever success they have. Start the play clock. The Panthers don't know how Cam Newton's shoulder is gonna respond in November or December of this year. There's no way for them to. All they can do is put him in the best possible position to succeed, regardless of what happens with that shoulder. That means surrounding him with playmakers, Christian McCaffrey, Curtis Samuel, DJ Moore, Greg Olson. That means improving his offensive line, signing Matt Paradis, signing Darrell Williams, adding depth with drafting Greg Little. These moves are made with the intention of keeping Cam healthy and putting him in the best position to succeed, again, regardless of what happens with the shoulder. It's been encouraging so far, but it's only five days of training camp practice. And as we continue moving through the season, the only thing that we're gonna have to see about Cam's shoulder isn't about the surrounding cast around him, it's about what he's able to actually do with that shoulder and if it stands up. Those are my final remarks. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week.